Hello, I am Petro from Gullian Technology. Today I would like to show you how you can install TFTP on Ubuntu server. So please make sure to watch to the end, subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my webpage gullian.uk. Let's get started. I am running Ubuntu 23.04, which is the latest version of Ubuntu. It was released a couple of days ago. In this short video I will show you the steps you need to take in order to install TFTP. The same steps apply on older versions of Ubuntu. If you don't know how to install Ubuntu, please check my website gulian.uk where you can find a blog post which explains you the steps for installing Ubuntu. Let's get started. Every time you want to install a new software on your machine and you don't know the name of the package that you need to install, you need to run the command apt cache search and add a meaningful name. For example, in our case, it's TFTP because we try to install TFTP. We have a lot of results, as you can see. What we can do, we can filter the output with the grep utility. I will add pipe grep tftp. Now we have fewer results and we can see here that we have HPA's tftp server. I will, I will install this package on my machine. Uh, in order to install a package you need to run the command sudo apt get install and add the name of the package tftpd-hpa and press enter add your write your command uh, your uh, password the installation didn't take too long as you can see because tftp is a very light application TFTP stands for from Trivial File Transfer Protocol and as the name suggests it is used for transferring files from a server to a client. TFTP is running on top of UDP and it is uh, TFTP is using the well-known port 69. After installing the TFTP package we need to be sure that the TFTP service is running. For this, run the command systemctl status tftp hpaservice As you can see, the service is active and the server is running since 53 seconds ago. Now, after installing the TFTP D package, let's check that it is actually running on the well-known port 69. For this, run the command netstat dash l from listening, u from UDP, and press enter. As you can see here, we have the, our server is listening for uh, TFTP, it's listening uh, for new connections. If you want to, to see the port number, add the dash N option and you will see the port numbers. As you can see, we have uh, the machine, my VM is listening on all available interfaces on port 69. UDP is running, UDP server is running on port 69. If you want to check the default configuration of your TFTP server, run the command cut slash etc slash default TFTP dash TFTPD dash HPA. As you can see, uh, the TFTP D server is listening on port 69 and the directory 
from where the files will be served to you is slash SRV slash TFTP. Right now, if we check the directory slash SRV slash TFTP, we have a file. I created a file earlier. Let's check the content of this file. As you can see, it is a test file. I will use this file and I will download this file with the TFTP client from a different machine. Now that we have confirmed that TFTP server is up and running and it is listening, the TFTP server is listening for new connections, let's go to the, let's use the TFTP client and download the file from the TFTP server. Here I open the command line interface on my Mac. I created a new folder test FTP TFTP. As you can see the directory is empty. I will test the connectivity to my TFTP the server TFTP server. Let's first check the IP address of my TFTP server. If you want to check the IP address of your machine, run the command IP address show. The IP address of this machine is 192.168.1.132. I will check the connectivity with the ping command from my TFTP client. I will run the command ping. I will specify dash C2 to run only two, two, two to send only two uh, only two packets and I will specify the IP address of my TFTP server 192.168.1.132 as you can see the TFT the ping is successful we have transmitted two packets and we have received two packets there isn't any packet loss everything is uh, the, everything is okay from the connectivity point of view. Right now, let's connect to the TFTP server. For this, you need to run the command TFTP and add the IP address of your server. And press enter. We are connected to the TFTP server. To confirm this, run the command status. We are connected to this host. Uh, if you want to see, if you don't know uh, what commands are available, you can add the question mark and press enter and you'll have a help menu where which gives you all the commands that you can run. As you can see the question mark is printing the help information. In order to download uh, download the file from the server, we need to run the command get and specify the name of the file. The name of the file, as you can see here, is uh, let's go back to the SRV TFTP. The name of the file, as you can see, is test.txt. Let's go back to my client and let's run the command get test.txt and press enter. I have received 100 bytes. Now I can close the connection to the TFTP server. I will run the command quit and press enter. And I will check if the file was, don was downloaded successfully. I will run the ls command. As we can see, I have a file, a test file. I will run the cut command to confirm that we have the same content cut this is a test file and if we check on the vm cut test this is a test file checking ftp is working properly the test is successful i am able to uh, use the tftp server i am able to use the tftp client and download files from the tftp server i hope you enjoy uh, you have enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video 
and visit the website gulian.uk for the text version of this video. Thank you and have a nice day.